Longfellow Creek in West Seattle can turn so toxic from stormwater runoff that coho salmon are often found dead. The chemical combo causes them to suffocate. It kills the fish. I mean, they can die within hours of exposure to urban runoff. Uh, and coho salmon are acutely sensitive, and they're timed from right when that first flush happens. Chris Wilkie is executive director with Puget Soundkeeper, a group that's also concerned about road salt after all the recent snow. Eggs are essentially hatching now through the spring, and uh, those uh, juvenile salmon that are coming out of the gravel, uh, they need clean water and they need to find food. Road salt has been shown to kill smaller insects that fish feed on, as well as kill the younger fish. Salt in particular, along with everything else in the stormwater, can be uh, acutely sensitive to the very youngest juvenile salmon when they still have their yolk sac attached. Uh, and if they don't make it through that stage, um, they'll never get to be adults. Um, so these late season snows might actually be a lot worse than an early season snow because we have more of the young fish around. Seattle Public Utilities sent King 5 the following statement. SDOT has been using salt since 2009 as a way of keeping people and goods moving while reducing environmental impacts compared to the previous strategy of treating the roads with sand. Using sand can damage the stormwater system and impact fish bearing creeks. When weather conditions allow it, another way SDOT reduces how much salt is needed is by proactively pre-treating the roadways with enhanced salt brine, magnesium chloride, before snow and ice accumulate. If you have to use it, use it very judiciously, use it where you need to, and realize that you are having an impact. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.